Your Tarpon Springs restaurant owner is the latest person to help law enforcement in the search for a hit and run driver. That driver crashed into a family, including a mother in a wheelchair holding her baby. Reporter Eric Waxler is live with where that SUV that hit them was actually found now. Eric. Yeah, Jamison, it turned up here at George's breakfast station in Tarpon Springs. The owner tells me he had a waitress who worked here just a couple of days, then didn't show up for work and left her truck parked here. Eventually, he thought that she abandoned it. At his neighborhood restaurant, George Paulus is right in the middle of Tarpon Springs. I've been here for 10 years. I've seen everything day and night here. But he's never seen something like this. An SUV involved in a hit and run found right in his parking lot left behind by a new waitress who didn't show up for work on Mother's Day. She's married to the suspected driver, James Vermeersh. George saw front end damage on the Lincoln Navigator and did a search online. So I called the police at the top of spring and said, listen, we got a car here, hit the people. He said, how do you know? I said, I got a license plate, I got a Facebook, everything's matching. While authorities now have the SUV, they still don't have the driver. It appears he and his wife took off after the crash. The family involved is back home, and everyone seems to be okay, including the nine-month-old baby girl knocked from her mother's arms. <laughs> if you do the crime, you do the time. George is back to work at the restaurant after successfully playing detective. I'm glad to help, but I'm, it's better. I feel bad for these people who got, to get, to get hit and run, and I mean, the guy never stopped to help him. Yeah, and George wasn't the only one to help police with this case. Back on Friday when it first happened, a witness actually followed the driver to a home, and that helped police identify who it was and the car that was involved. Anyone with information is asked to call Star, FHP, or dial Crime Stoppers. In Tarpon Springs, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.